Hi guys, hello, hello, good evening. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone's had a lovely, lovely day today. A youthful, youthful, youth-filled day. Um, welcome to session two. Okay, really important session today because it's what's going to set the scene for you know all of the content we're covering for the rest of the uh, rest of the, the course. Um, because to to know how to become young again, we need to understand in really you know lots of detail, really clearly how the body actually becomes young again. How does the body? How do we physiologically reverse the age of our body? OK, not as a theory, but as an actuality at the level of our organs, at our cells, in our genes. What are the actual proven mechanisms for allowing us to become young again? OK, and that's what I want to talk about tonight. It's fundamentally important. OK, so welcome Jenny, Sue, Julia, Lisa, Tess, Jonathan, Joe, everyone joining me. I hope everyone is well and that everyone's had a good day. Um, Yesterday, uh, I can see uh, yesterday the comments weren't coming up. So uh, I can see the comments now, OK, which is a lot better. So big hello to everyone um, who out of interest, who's has anyone here ordered their herbs um, tomorrow? We'll be talking about um, Ayurvedic or Kaya Kalpic um, herbal alchemy, which is going to build upon what we talk about today. Um so uh, I'd be interested to know if anyone here has actually ordered the herbs or is going to order the herbs um, because they're so phenomenally effective. OK, so the herbal medicines are really important um, and you can find you know, all the information about that in the workbook. Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Rachel's got hers, uh, which is good. Hi, Colette. Uh, hi, everyone who's joining. Um, hi, Joe. I take Ashwin Gun, but not the others. Uh, Julia's got the herbs. Uh, Frederica, not yet. Yeah, so a lot of people might uh, only just, yeah, there's no rush. We're obviously, we're going to talk about the herbs tomorrow. Um, but there's plenty of time. There's plenty of time to order them uh, once you learn a bit more about them and, and whatnot. So plenty of time there. Lots of uh, got herbs. Layla's got hers. Jenny's got hers. OK, that's good. Um, so, um, yesterday's session, uh, you know, I felt it was such a privilege to have, uh, we had about 150, 160, uh, people live yesterday, which was amazing. Um, yesterday we spoke about kind of the, the foundation. We spoke about, you know, what Kaya Kalpa actually is, uh, what's the promise of Kaya Kalpa, um, you know, what does Cal Kai Kalpa say and believe about aging? And it's really important um, that we kind of laid that foundation because it sets the tone for everything else we're talking, we'll be talking about uh, as the week progresses. And uh, this Facebook group is, you know, we've had so much traction on here uh, this afternoon we've had, or today. We've had so many comments, so many posts, so many questions, so much interaction. And it's, it's so inspiring. It kind of ed it elevates the energy of the, of the whole event and each other. It, I know it's very inspiring for everyone. So super grateful for everyone who's put so much time and effort uh, you know, into this uh, Facebook group thus far. Um, uh, Beth, what herbs? If you if you look at the workbook that you would have got upon signing up, it talks about the herbs we're talking about tomorrow and where you can get them. OK, so following on from yesterday's session, how do we you know, the most important question we have to ask at this point is how do we discernibly, tangibly become young again? OK, how do we actually do it? Um, you know, what are the ways that we can actually reverse the aging of the age of the body, the, the way the body is working to a level that we experience in, in how we live our lives? OK, how we experience day to day living, how, how do we feel more youthful, more vital, more energized, more healthy, younger? OK, um, how can we cultivate a level of health and energy and youthfulness in our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond that we would associate with being you know, 30, 40 or 50? OK, what are the actual mechanisms? Because if it's just theory, um, if it's just kind of, you know, discussion, you know, it, it's not it's not valid. It's not genuine. OK, we're not going to experience the benefits. So what we're interested in is tangible gain. 
What can you do? What can I do that is in an evidence based way going to be effective at actually reversing the age of our body at all of the key levels? Okay. And before we get into that, okay, I will talk about that in a minute. But before we answer that question, it's really important we answer another question first. Okay. And that question, and it's fundamental. Okay. I'm going to, we'll be referring back to this as we go through the week. And it's one of the most important things we've got to get our head around in the context of becoming young again. And it's the difference between chronological age, how many birthdays we've had, and physiological age, the actual age of our body. Okay. This is at the very heart of Kai Kalpa, the very heart of the Western longevity research, the very heart of becoming young again. Because chronological age, how many birthdays we've had, is pretty much only useful for our driving license and our passport. Okay, that's the probably the only few situations where how many birthdays we have has any relevance. Okay. Our physiological age is the actual age of our organs and cells, the actual age of our body. Okay, and the whole focus of longevity, the whole focus of age reversal is making sure that our physiological age, the actual age of our body is a lot less than our chronological age, how many birthdays we've had. And to put that into perspective, um, imagine as an example, okay, yeah, Alexi, chronological age is BS, okay, it absolutely is, okay, so as an example to articulate how completely useless chronological age is, consider this, okay, so imagine you're in an office, okay, or in the pub or at a family dinner, and you've got two 60-year-olds, two 60-year-old men or two 60-year-old women sat next to each other, okay, exactly the same age, But imagine, so they've had the same number of birthdays. So they're chronologically the same age. Imagine one of them is stressed, they're overweight, they're bored, they don't have any meaning and passion, they're lonely, they have a bad diet, they don't sleep properly, they don't exercise. All of the things that we know accelerate aging. Okay, that person could easily be existing in a body that could be 80. Okay, we can we can easily add 20 years onto our chronological age through bad lifestyle and dietary practices. Okay, lonely, all the things I just said. So you've got one 60 year old, 60 birthdays, but actually their body is 80. The other 60 year old sat next to them, also had 60 birthdays, also 60 years old. But imagine that person is full of life. Okay, amazing family, lots of friends, does work that they love, lots of hobbies, lots of passion, exercises, eats really well, sleeps well, manages stress well, really happy, lots to look forward to, lots to live for, loves doing things, you know, sociable, all of the things that we know reverse aging. That person could comfortably have a physiology that's 20 years younger than his chronological age. So you've got these two 60 year olds, but they're not. One is 40 and one is 80. So you've actually got a 40 year difference between these two 60 year olds. So when you look at the one 60 year old, you say, well, doesn't he look great? Or doesn't she look great? They they, they look young, they act young, they're vivacious, they're energized, they're healthy. It's because they're not 60, they're 40. And then suddenly when you look at a 60 year old who is aging prematurely or who has a heart attack or a stroke, it's not because they're 60, it's because they're 80. Okay, so chronological age is a useless, useless indicator of how old we are. What we're interested in is the actual physiological age of our body. Okay, Um, and the whole aim of Kaya Kalpa is to is to is to not just slow down how quickly we age, but to actually stop and reverse it. Because if we can reverse these specific markers of aging, we can make the gap between chronological age and physiological age bigger. Okay, so we, we're kind of aging backwards. Okay. Um, and the whole aim of Kaya Kalpa is to facilitate that. And Kaya Kalpa presses into service so many means for, you know, for achieving that. 
um, you know, um, you know, in dietary interventions and, and lifestyle practices and detoxification and immune uh, immune me- mechanisms. And I'll talk about the whole framework on Wednesday. But today, tonight, I want to talk about the four most fundamental mechanisms that allow us to reverse physiological aging. Okay, these are sacrosanct in Kaya Kalpa, but they're where the Western evidence is most profound. Okay, and they're going to be that something called so stem cells, inflammaging, telomeres, and rasanyanas. Okay, so I want to just briefly cover all four of those. Okay, so stem cells. I think in terms of um, in terms of gain for gain effort. Okay. Stem cells are where we need to put the most effort, okay? It's unimaginable what increasing stem cell production can do to age reversal and how youthful and vital and healthy and disease preventing we are, okay? So stem cells are blank canvases, okay? Stem cells are blank canvas cells. So the stem cell can be any cell it wants, Okay, so when we age, what is aging? Okay, what is aging? Aging is where the functionality of our cells and organs is dropping. Okay, so think about why does our eyesight get worse as we age? It's because the cells are breaking down. Why does kidney function get worse when we age? It's because kidney function is dropping, whatever it may be. Why do we look older? Because the elasticity of our skin is getting, is deteriorating. And the the problem is, is that, we say so stem cells are the only physiologically active means of repairing that. So as we age, it's, it's a very bad system because we have less stem cells when we, when we need them. Okay? Because the only way we can reliably repair the cellular damage of aging is to repair those cells with new cells, stem cells. Okay? So if we can increase our production of stem cells, then we can maintain the repair of age-related decline. So if age-related decline exceeds repair, we age faster. If stem cell production matches age-related decline, it can hold kind of it can hold aging. If stem cell production exceeds age-related decline, we can actually reverse aging. Okay, so if we think about, you know, uh, you know, thinking about the key markers of aging, you know, elevated blood pressure, you know, poor blood sugar regulation, poor eyesight, re- reduced liver function, reduced kidney function, you know, uh, the, the aesthetic signs of aging, all of those are down to the fact that there is more cellular degeneration than there is repair. And the only way... Um, the only way that we can we can reverse that is to increase stem cell production, because then if we can flood the body with more stem cells, we have more blank canvas cells that can go to our eyes. OK, so our eyesight is deteriorating. Stem cells can become eye cells, repair damage, and our eyesight can actually improve. Our kidney function is dropping. We produce more stem cells. Those stem cells travel to the kidneys, become kidney cells, repair the damage. Kidney function stabilizes and improves. Okay, the physical signs of aging, our skin and muscle cells deteriorate. We increase stem stem cell production. Stem cells become skin cells, become muscle cells, and we look more elastic, more youthful. Okay, so the bottom line is to, to if we are serious about maintaining youthfulness, if we are serious about reversing any signs of aging we are experiencing in our body, we must, must, must increase stem cell production, okay? It's so important, okay? And again, when we look at the herbal medicines tomorrow, the herbal medicines we'll be exploring are clinically proven in published evidence to increase stem cell production. But we have to be proactive here because as we age, stem cell production drops, Okay, so as we age, we our ability to produce stem cells drop, so aging accelerates. Okay, you can go to America and you can spend fifty thousand pounds on stem cell therapy, which is where you're injected with stem cells. But you can also replicate that same mechanism, you know, by using certain foods, particularly herbal medicines. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, we have to stimulate stem cells. Okay, 
Um, before I move on to inflammaging, everyone happy with that? If I explain that, if I explain the stem cells in a way that makes sense in terms of why they're so important, why they're so profound and why they're the most accurate physiological mechanism for actually reversing aging. Is everyone happy with that? Because uh, it's really important that I've kind of, because it's quite, a, it's quite a broad topic and I don't, I, I don't want to talk on it too long, but it's important that it makes sense because if, if you, whatever age you are now, whatever age you are now, any symptoms, ailments, diseases, signs of aging you have internally or externally, if you can increase stem cell production in your body, those things can be repaired, stopped or reversed. Not sometimes, possibly, maybe, it can all of the time. Okay, so we must be stimulating stem cells. The next thing we must do, and I touched on it yesterday, we must, 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 must sever the chronic inflammatory responses that are endemic in our society, okay? Uh, we'll be covering which herbs do this tomorrow. Everyone asking about how you, <laughs> everyone's asking about how you increase stem cells. That's the focus of tomorrow's session. Um, so, okay, so unless you're actively doing things to neutralize it, okay, chronic inflammation. So in the West, it's called inflammaging, a marriage of inflammation and aging. Inflammaging, okay, is one of, well, actually, it's probably the most powerful accelerator of age, okay? If, so chronic inflammation is caused by poor sleep, insufficient exercise, bad diet, dehydration, stress, loneliness, a lack of meaning and purpose. There's lots of things that can cause chronic inflammation. Um, but what that chronic inflammation does is it accelerates all of the primary markers of aging in the body. Okay, it, it, it has a catastrophic effect on our immune function. Uh, it reduces cellular repair mechanisms. Um, it makes us feel tired. It makes us feel achy. If you've ever gone through periods in your life where you feel flat, where you feel tired, where you feel achy, where you just feel like you're running on empty, okay, that is almost, I would almost guarantee that is because of inflammation, okay? So I can think back over the last 15 years of clinical practice, the number of times people have come into our clinic and, and said, you know, I just feel, I feel old. I feel, I feel a, I feel like I've just deteriorated. I don't feel vivacious. I don't feel like myself. And you, you do some blood tests and you see they've got this simmering inflammation. If you, if you sever that inflammation, you feel brand new again. Okay. Um, and it's, it's, it's a profound, it's probably the most consistent evidence-based um, uh, marker of accelerated aging. If you sever that, okay, if you sever that mechanism within about two weeks, two to three weeks, I virtually guarantee you will notice a discernible difference in the way you exist in your body in terms of things like mood, in terms of things like energy, in terms of things like uh, stamina, in terms of things like vitality. Okay, it's, it's profound. Okay, so and remember, we're talking about this individually, but imagine if we're doing all of them. Imagine if we're increasing stem cells to repair damage and we're reducing inflammation. Then we're getting a compound effect. Then we get into the third part. Anyone here heard of telomeres? Anyone here give me a thumbs up or a yes uh, if you've heard of telomeres? Okay, this is something that won the Nobel Prize. So the upper, upper echelon of clinical research. I'm sure some people here have heard of uh, yeah, Beth as I'm sure lots of you heard of telomeres. So briefly, telomeres are the caps on the end of our chromosomes. OK, um, so the way they're often described is like, you know, shoelaces have got that plastic cap on the end. OK, uh, that holds the phrase together. Uh, the telomeres are the same. They're the caps on our chromosome. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jemmy, Jemmy uh, yeah, nerve shoelaces. Um, uh, that's what they are. Okay. So the reason that's important, telomeres have been known about for a very long time. Okay. Because they're fundamental, because they're the most accurate genetic marker of aging. Okay. So as our telomeres shorten, that's aging. 
The faster they shorten, the faster they age. The slower they shorten, the slower we age. And the most obvious example of this is gray hair. Okay, why, when you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s, do you suddenly start getting gray hairs? It's because the telomeres that are responsible for the regulation of those cells that produce hair colorant have, have ceased to exist. Their telomeres have disappeared, so they can't produce hair colorant, so the hair goes white. Okay, if that happens in our kidney, kidney function drops. If that happens in our liver, liver function drops. If it happens in our immune cells, immune function drops. So telomeres are, are, are what genetic aging is. And the holy grail for the last 30 years has been, well, if we can slow down telomere aging, we can slow down genetic aging. And that was the, the, the holy grail. And then in 2012, I think um, her name was Ju, um, Elizabeth Blackburn. She's a British scientist, won the Nobel Prize, because what she showed, which has now been replicated in dozens of other studies, is that not only can you slow down telomere shortening, so not only can you sh slow down aging, you can not only stop it, you can actually re-lengthen telomeres, okay? So if you can re-lengthen a telomere, that is exactly what Kaya Kalpa says. Kaya Kalpa says, you can not only stop aging, you can reverse it. If you can lengthen a telomere, you can physiologically, genetically reverse aging in the cells that those telomeres control. And that explains why people go into chiocalpic practices with thinner hair or grayer hair or less skin elasticity or, you know, high blood pressure. And they, you know, a series of weeks or months into using chiocalpa, those things are much better. Why? Because their telomeres have re-lengthened. They've genetically reversed aging again. This is Nobel Prize winning research. This is not something that's been pulled out of thin, hair, thin air. This is the highest level of research. And again, how do we do it? How do we stimulate telomere growth? Well, all of the dietary interventions Kaya Kalpa talks about, all of the lifestyle interventions, but herbal medicines, again, the herbal um, protocols we're talking about tomorrow have got published clinical evidence to show that they can re-lengthen telomeres. And I'll talk about how tomorrow, okay? Um, again, we're thinking here about a compound effect, okay? Each one of these things are important. We increase stem cells. We repair age-related damage. We reduce inflammation. We feel great, okay? We increase telomeres. We genetically reverse aging. If we do one of those, brilliant. But imagine if we're doing all three of them, suddenly we can see how we go from feeling a bit flat, a bit tired, a bit aged, a bit achy, to feeling vital and vivacious again, okay? Because we are, we are reversing the age of the body. And that takes us on to kind of the fourth and final component, which is something that I am hell-bent on kind of propagating. Um, and I know there's quite a few of our Ayurvedic um, clinician uh, students here, and you would have heard me talk about this a lot. Uh, it's something called Rasanyanas, okay? R-A-S-A-Y-A-N-A, -A -A. Rasanyana or Rasanyanas. And the literal, so Rasanyanas are kayakalpic Ayurvedic herbs, okay? They're a classification of herbs. And the, the, the conceptual translation of a Rasanyana is that which destroys aging and disease, a rasanyana is that which destroys aging and disease. What a beautiful concept. Um, and again, the herbs we're talking about tomorrow, the foods we'll be talking about on Thursday, the, the, one of the bonus sessions next week are all about rasanyanas. But ra what do rasanyanas do? So because rasanyanas are the most famous um, classification of herbs in the whole of Ayurveda, particularly Kaya Kalpa, they're the ones that have, have, have been subjected to the most Western research, okay, published, peer-reviewed clinical research. And what does that research show? It shows that these Rasanyanas do exactly what their title says, that which destroys aging and disease. If we look at the research around Rasanyanas, we know that they are immune tonics. We know that they strengthen and bolster the immunity. We know they're powerful anti-inflammatories to sever that inflammation. We know they're energy tonics, they're vitality tonics. They increase the body's and the cell's production of energy. And this is so key. Think about the difference between an 80 year old and an 18 year old. A big part of that difference is a lack of physical energy. Rasanyanas increase cells energy production. 
it's something called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is our kind of energy currency. These herbs increase that, okay? Um, they detoxify the body. They are mood tonics. They increase blood flow into the brain so we feel more vital, more cognitively sharp, happier, more positive, more optimistic, more vivacious. In essence, they make us more youthful, okay? And I've, you know, I, I can't imagine... I genuinely can't imagine life without using Rasignanas. You know, the, the, herbal formu- the, the, the herbal formulations and blends we're talking about tomorrow, I've used for decades, okay? And, and you know, we, I'll talk about how we can customize them or individualize them in a subsequent session. But these Rasignanic herbs are just unimaginably powerful, okay? And they pretty much, you know, reverse aging in all of those mechanisms they stimulate stem cells they they stimulate telomere lengthening they reduce inflammation they increase immunity they increase energy they're a win-win okay so if we are acting it, it sounds like a big jump to go from where we are now to becoming young again but if we take a step-by-step process and say well if every day i'm doing things that are evidence are evidentially going to increase stem cells. They're going to reduce inflammation. That are going to lengthen telomeres. That are going to revitalize my body. Then we can rebuild our body in any way we want. Okay, it's not a question of is it possible. It's a question of how do we unleash it in our own body right now. Okay, we can rebuild our body. We can reverse aging in every organ system. There isn't one organ system where there isn't evidence to show that you can reverse all of the you know, all of the physiological signs of aging. Okay, respiratory system, cardiovascular system, nervous system. You know, ad infinitum. Okay, it's there for us. Um, and the whole aim of Kaya Kalpa is to do just that. And Kaya, you know, Kaya Kalpa has a huge framework for, uh, for facilitating that, you know, in terms of dietary interventions, detoxification, lifestyle practice, spiritual practices. But the, the heartbeat of Kaya Kalpa is the herbal alchemy. OK, you can't practice you, know, you can't practice genuine Kaya Kalpa really without using the Kaya Kalpic herbal formulations because they condense into one package everything that needs to happen in a, in a way that takes seconds to consume is as evidence-based as it comes and is, is you know, phenomenally easy to sustain because it's so quick and easy, okay? Um, and and I, I can see quite a lot of questions about um, cancer. I know there's quite a lot of people in this group. Um, we hit 1,000 uh, 1, people in the Facebook group this afternoon. So to have 1,000 people here is an absolute privilege. Had lots of public and lots of private messages from people who have have cancer or have had cancer. OK, uh, lots of people talking about heart diseases and things like that as well. And these Rasignanic herbs have got proven anti-cancer actions, proven anti-heart disease actions and proven anti-Alzheimer actions. OK, they're called the trilogy of killers, cancer, heart disease and Alzheimer's. If we can do things every day to neutralize or minimize the risks of those kinds of diseases, our chances of living a long, healthy life are exponentially increased and these herbs do that so yeah juliet they are adaptogenic herbs all of the rastignanic herbs are also adaptogens and i'll talk about what that means tomorrow for those of you don't know okay um so they're the mechanisms okay and it's fundamentally important we understand the difference between chronological age and physiological age and it's fundamentally important we understand how we then go about reversing physiological age. And the most powerful ways are stem cells, are inflammation, are telomeres and are rasignanas. If we can unleash those, the sky's the limit. OK, the ability to you know, whatever you're here for, whatever goal you're looking to achieve. OK, I asked a question on the Facebook page earlier today. You know, why do you want to become young again? OK, because it's very personal. You know, there's lots of different reasons why we want to become young again. OK, um, and we've had some beautiful, very quite moving answers. But whatever in your deepest emotional self, whatever you're here for, whatever you want to achieve in terms of becoming young again, in terms of revitalizing, in terms of experiencing youthfulness again, it's there for you. OK, the evidence shows it's there for you. The genetic research shows it's there for you. Kaya Kalpa has been showing it's there for us for 5000 years. We just need to put it into place. 
Okay. Uh, good question, Patrick. Are the doshas important in Kaya Kalpa? They, they become more important if you're managing pathology. Okay. And on Wednesday, Wednesday session, I'll talk about the doshas a little bit. But if you're managing a, a more serious pathology like cancer or heart disease, uh, then you can, you can customize Kaya Kalpa in alignment with the doshas. But if it's if you don't need that level of intervention, all of the the chiropractic practices we're going to explore tomorrow, for example, are tridoshic, which means everyone can use them. Okay. Uh, hi Joe, where can you get tested to find out your physiological age? Uh, there's quite a lot of private. Um, so if you're in the UK, um, Randox uh, or Blue Crest do a full. Um, it's quite, I think they call it a metabolic workup, but it's about your physiological age. Okay. Um, so there's quite a lot of ways now where you can do uh, kind of physiological age testing. OK, um, so with those mechanisms understood, the, the motivation for tonight's session was the realisation that we have the capacity to reverse ageing. And this is how the net all the subsequent sessions are actually how we do it. You know, so, so as of tomorrow, it becomes very practical. Do this, take that blend these, use this, eat this, it becomes much more practical from tomorrow onwards. But we've got to get this, this foundation understood because it shows how valid it is to become young again. Okay, so to, again, to have 110 people here live is an absolute privilege. So I'm so genuinely grateful for you guys showing up again and again because it just means the world to have you here so super grateful any questions that i've missed i i, I can't answer all of the questions that i'm going through as the, the sessions will overrun um any questions i've missed i'll answer retrospectively tomorrow's session is a, is a bit later it starts at 7 45 okay so tomorrow's session starts at 7 45 15 minutes later because i'm teaching out our, our uvedic um, clinician students and we don't finish until 7 30 so we'll be a bit later but tomorrow's session is so so important because it's talking about the herbal medicines the herbal alchemy how to blend them how to use them how they work how they work to target stem cells telomeres inflammation okay so really important session tomorrow any questions let me know have a lovely 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 evening uh, and i'll see you soon cheers guys